Hello, and welcome to Cozumel, Mexico. If you're ever looking for somewhere to go diving, Cozumel is certainly a place to go. It's excellent diving, just excellent. I didn't see a lot of the dive sites, but the ones that I did see, I was just deeply impressed. The water is crystal clear, massive walls, and huge underwater boulders, and just teeming with life. That's a mutton snapper, common fish for people to eat and fish for. It's common all over the Caribbean. There's concern it might be starting to become overfished and it's listed as near threat. This is a pretty typical looking reef covered in stony corals. Loads of sponges and quite a lot of algae too. Here I'm just trying to give a sense of the scale of the place. The water here is just so clear. I can't think of many places that rival it that I've been to so far. Different spots on the reef have different ecosystems. So here we're looking kind of under a ledge on a wall. There's quite a bit here. There's sponges and sea whips, but I want to point out all the algae that's growing. This is a species in the genus Halameda, and it's often found in dark, shady spots underneath ledges and on walls. It uses calcium out of the seawater and puts calcium carbonate into its cells, making it really stiff and uh, hard for animals to eat. This is sunray lettuce coral. It's a type of plating coral. It's found often on walls and sloping reef ledges. It's very common in the Caribbean, and we found this at about 80 feet or so underneath the ledge. Great star coral is really common, really abundant throughout the Caribbean. Right now it looks like a lot of bumps, and that's the animal being retracted inside the, its skeleton. And then behind the coral is a graze bee, which is a type of grouper, and he's exactly where you'd expect to find him. Sometimes you have to go look below things to find different kinds of animals in coral life. Here we are just kind of beneath this giant, giant ledge. There's my dive partner to give some scale. Now we're moving shallower and the topography of the reef is changing pretty abruptly and it's turned into these island boulders on a sloping bed of sand. First we have mustard hill coral which is really common, you'll see it all the time. That red thing's a big sponge. I don't know how to ID it. You need a microscope, apparently. Then we have a lot of thin leaf lettuce coral. There's tons of this stuff in Cosmo. You see it everywhere in the shallower water. Nice shot of a reef slope. There's a school of blue chromis. There's other fish in it too, but it's mostly blue chromis. And then we have a shot of a colony of branching finger coral with uh, some sponges and algae. And there's a sea whip next to it. There's just so much life just jammed into one tight spot. This is such a wonderful place to dive with the water clarity and the really interesting geography and topography. It's just, there's so much to see and do. It's great. I would say perhaps the only downside is the volume of divers and all the boat traffic. It's not a secluded place. The biodiversity on reefs is really amazing. It's so much, there's so much life when you look at something and so many different species, it can almost be like you don't see anything at all unless you start to like look for things. Yeah, we're just, we're, we're 
swimming over sponges, hard corals, algae, all kinds of fish and invertebrates. Here's a massive colony of branching finger coral and uh, loads of algae. There's some uh, thin leaf lettuce coral. And a nice shot of what the place looks like. Here's a big colony of branching finger coral. Right now, most of the polyps are retracted, but some of them are extended and you can see where it looks like a fuzzy stick. That's how the animal eats. It puts its tentacles out into the water column and catches anything edible that comes by. Corals like this are actually a whole colony of many individual animals. Each polyp is one animal. And then it secretes some calcium carbonate around itself, forming a skeleton. And then all of them together form that stick that you see. When one animal dies, a new one grows over top, and then it'll make the stick a little bigger. Over thousands of years, these reefs just will get built up and built up, and then that's what you see. And I've run out of footage, so if you have any questions or comments, just let me know, and I'll be happy to address it. Thank you.